Hello, and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at single digit multiplication and more specifically, tape diagrams, which were originally known as model drawings in Singapore math. And we'll look at number bonds as well. We'll be using these worksheets. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under a video walkthrough section. And this is entitled single digit multiplication. Tape diagrams, model drawings, and number bonds. We have some directions. Solve the following word problem. Show your work using numbers, pictures, and words. And in this case, you'll be using tape diagrams or model drawings, as well as number bonds. We have two problems. Let's get started with the first. Jeanette runs a mango juice stand. She uses five mangoes to make one bottle of juice. She makes seven bottles of juice. How many mangoes does Jeanette use all together? Let's go back and take a look through this problem and see if we can tease out the math clues sentence by sentence as we take a close read through it. First sentence, Jeanette runs a mango juice stand. Do you hear any math information there? Not really. Story information, if you're thinking that, good for you. Second sentence, she uses five mangoes to make one bottle of juice. Did you catch that? She uses five mangoes to make one. Okay, so five mangoes to make one bottle of juice. Next sentence. She makes seven bottles of juice. You're probably thinking seven is an, an important clue, and you'd be absolutely right. Seven bottles of juice, so that's how much she makes. Makes seven bottles of juice. And last of all, you may have noticed that we have a question. How many mangoes does Jeanette use all together? And if you're thinking that's your math job, perfect, you'd be right. Good for you. How many mangoes is what we have to figure out does Jeanette use all together? So in order to make the seven bottles of juice, how many mangoes does she use? Well, if you're thinking, hmm, we could use multiplication to solve this, yep. You'd be right. So we'll take what we do know. We know that she made seven bottles of juice. And we also know that in each bottle, she used five mangoes to make that bottle of juice. So we have our two factors and our unknown or our product is how many mangoes did she use altogether? So in order to find our product or our answer, we're going to use something called a tape diagram or a model drawing. And you can see here we have this model drawing and each partition represents one bottle of mango juice. And we know that Jeanette used five mangoes to make one bottle of juice. So we can go ahead and, and write the number five in there. Go ahead and do that. You could set up your model drawing by pausing the video if you'd like. You could start off with just a square for the first partition, and then you could write your five in there and just build off of that. So you would have five and another another five. So you keep going as, until you had seven partitions or seven sections in your model drawing. So back to this section, okay? For in this partition, and if we envision one bottle of juice and having five mangoes in it, it might help us to solve this problem. That's what we're going to do. So let me move this back here. So you have that visual that each partition represents one bottle of juice with five mangoes in it. We can continue our tape diagram or model drawing. So we have another bottle with five, another bottle with five. And each bottle requires five mangoes to make that bottle of juice. And now you can see we have a, a bunch of fives there and, and you're probably thinking, ah, pretty good at counting by fives. And if you are, why don't you count along here? We'll, we'll take a look at this first section. So, so we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And if you're thinking that Jeanette needed 35, mangoes to make one bottle of juice, you'd be absolutely correct. 
Now, another way to show this, um, to really show the the repeated addition aspect of this, you could we could we could do a number bond. Let's go ahead and do that now. And with a number bond, your product will be in the larger section. So we've got 35 representing 35 mangoes you needed to make the seven bottles of juice, and we'll represent those seven bottles of juice with these, these little kind of arms coming off the number bond. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you're having trouble keeping up with me, feel free to pause the video and go at your own pace. So we have seven bottles and in each bottle, there were five mangoes, five mangoes. There's a group of five, another, third, a group of five mangoes, a fourth, five, there's the sixth bottle, and bottle number seven. And again, you could you could easily go through and skip count or count the multiples of five, starting with five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and there you have it, 35 bottles of juice. So now we have we have numbers in our multiplication. We start off with an expression. Now it's an equation with that equal sign in there. So we have our numbers with our equation, seven times five equals 35. We have our pictures in the form of a tape diagram, or you could call it a model drawing, same thing interchangeably. And then we also have a number bond down here. So we have numbers, pictures, and we need words. So we can check back up with our math job. Just make sure we, we solve this, and I, I think we did. So how many mangoes does Jeanette use altogether? Seven times five, seven bottles of juice, five mangoes per bottle equals 35. 35 mangoes, I think we have. So now we can put that into a complete sentence. Oftentimes you can use words from the question to answer your math job. Your sentence should look something like this. Jeanette used 35 mangoes to make seven bottles of juice. Once again, we have numbers, pictures, and words, which makes a well-rounded answer and a happy student. So here we go. Let's check problem number two. Let's work on this. You might want to pause the video and work on it by yourself and then watch the solution afterwards just to check your work. Well, let's get started. Each student has three rubber band bracelets. How many bracelets do six children have? Once again, let's look for math clues. We'll go through this a little quicker this time. So we have each student. So that's an important word. Each student has three. So each student has three rubber band bracelets. There we go. We have our number clue. Important there. And the next sentence. Notice something going on there? We have a question. And Oftentimes in our question, we have our math job. Once again, that's what we have going on here. How many bracelets? So we have to figure out how many bracelets. How many bracelets do six children have? Well, once again, you might be thinking, well, multiplication would be the way to go here. Yep, that is the operation you should use. We have six children, and each child has three rubber band bracelets. Six times three, and once again, we're trying to find the unknown product here. So we'll use number bonds once again, and model drawings. And we'll start with our model drawing or a tape diagram. And now we can quickly go about doing this. We have each section representing a one of the six children. So we have three bracelets that each child has. Each student has three bracelets, three rubber band bracelets. So now you might be good at, at multiples of three. So let's go ahead and, and count by three. So we've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So if you're thinking 18 bracelets in all, you'd be absolutely correct. Now let's go ahead and ahead with our number bond and once again we'll have our product eighteen representing 
how many bracelets they had all together. And each child will be represented here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And each had three bracelets. You could think of it as repeated addition. This is like a repeated addition number bond, also known as multiplication. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 bracelets. So we have numbers and pictures. Now we need to put our answer in a complete sentence. We solved our math job. And there we have our sentence. Six students have 18 rubber band bracelets. So now, once again, we've used numbers, pictures, and words. We have a well-rounded answer once again. So that was a quick look at using tape diagrams or model drawings along with number bonds to solve single-digit multiplication problems. Thanks for checking out worksheets and walkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.